So my name is Jacqueline Robidu. I'm a Marine Extension Associate with Maine Sea Grant. Um, and what that kind of means is I'm a seaweed specialist. So I get to work with seaweed farmers, researchers, students, um, pr product producers, all different kinds of people to work on the development of the new seaweed sector in the state of Maine. Maine is the first place in the U.S. that kelp was farmed. I think there's a few reasons why kelp was first farmed in Maine. So in addition to a really ideal environment, um, we also have a lot of working waterfront infrastructure. So, you know, you have to keep in mind that kelp is uh, a farmed product and requires stuff like working waterfronts in order to uh, make the whole thing work. So when you think about why Maine, um, it's a really a combination of the environment and the people. So Maine has about 40 seaweed farms and that number has really increased over the past few years. Where the farms are, um, they're actually all up and down the coast, but there's a few key areas to point out. And so one of them is here um, in Casco Bay. And so there's many farms in Casco Bay and a large reason for that is that there's seaweed processors who will buy the seaweed and process it into food that are located close by. Other areas where we're seeing a lot of new seaweed farms coming up are in the mid coast and islands uh, and fishing communities that are looking to diversify into seaweed, as well as down east where the water is really cold and there's large currents which support uh, really healthy seaweed growth. My name is Morgan Leah Fogg. My name is Jake Patron. And we are Nautical Farms. We are a small regenerative organic ocean farm in Down East Maine. We started learning about seaweed farming when we were actually living in the middle of the United States. We were in Colorado and started learning um, about all of the benefits of seaweed. And I got super interested because I saw the opportunity to help grow a sustainable agriculture and create a sustainable food system in the US. Um, and so Jake has an incredible background, which he can tell you guys about. But um, yeah, that's, what it, that's where it started. Yeah, it was pretty easy once Morgan took an interest in seaweed farming for me to get on board just with the background of lobster fishing, commercial fishing from a very young age. Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's, it's very rewarding to be, to be a kelp farmer. When I go out there and I see it from a microscopic seed and take care of it and raise it and grow it into this long, beautiful blade of kelp that I ultimately see in its final product, um, for somebody to consume, it's, it's very rewarding and also the sustainability side of it adds to that reward system for you where it's just benefiting us the entire time that it's growing in the ocean. Hi, my name is Bree Warner and I'm the CEO and President of Atlantic Sea Farms. Atlantic Sea Farms is the largest kelp aquaculture company in the entire United States. Seaweed is one of the most amazing things that you could possibly grow in the world. It is grown with no land, no fresh water, no fertilizers, nothing, and it makes the environment better. So when I heard about all of that, I decided I really wanted to get involved in finding ways to grow it here in Maine while working with Maine's fishermen to help them think of new ways of making money. The coastline of Maine was dotted with communities that were working off the water. So people who relied on fishing, people who relied on, you know, boat businesses, boat building, um, a number of issues of uh, ways that people could live off the water. And in fact, for the entire history of Maine, back to indigenous communities and now, our entire coastline has depended on the ocean for being able to make a living. In the last 50 years, now only 22 miles of that coastline is still preserved as working waterfront. So that means waterfront that people can use for fishing or boat building or those kind of things. The other reason working waterfront is important is because there's so much in life where we end up sitting in offices behind a desk and for some of you, that's great. For others of you, it sounds like your worst nightmare, right? And we want, some, we want the opportunity for people to be able to work on the water if they want, go out every day, be their own boss, be on their own boat, 
be able to control their own future. And having that opportunity makes us who we are in Maine. It's what makes us different from Massachusetts and California and New York. It's that we have self, we have independence over our own future. And to me, that's really exciting and worth preserving. So the future of seaweed is really exciting. And just for perspective, let me give you some numbers. In 2018, the entire country, the entire United States, produced 30,000 pounds of, sea, of line grown kelp. So that's kelp aquaculture, seaweed aquaculture. Last year, Maine lobstermen working with Atlantic Sea Farms grew 1 million pounds of kelp. So that's a three year difference. And to me, that shows how much we can grow this industry. And when we grow it, we're giving people really good jobs in the winter as a way to diversify what they're doing in the face of climate change because lobster is not as predictable as it used to be. It helps remove carbon and nitrogen from the water column and locally through that halo effect mitigates some of the effects of climate change. It produces good food for consumers that is healthy and well sourced and it's delicious. So I would love to see by 2030, 100 farmers in Maine producing 100,000 pounds each and then only growing from there to make a positive impact on the environment, a positive impact on the Maine economy, and a positive impact on people's health. Yeah, so kelp is really exciting to farm because it's a climate friendly crop. Um, and I think about that in a few different ways. As it's in the ocean, it is helping to uh, improve water quality, mitigate ocean acidification, and there's a whole other suite of ecosystem services that kelp provides um, that we're really just learning about on farms. In addition to in the water, the other reason why kelp is really climate friendly is because it doesn't take any of the traditional imp inputs from agriculture. So you think about fresh water, food, fertilizer, uh, kelp is grown with none of that. And so it's a really low input, but high impact type of farming where what comes out is a really nutritious and valuable um, food product and product that can be used in many, many other applications as well. We are so excited about the future of Maine seaweeds because seaweeds are just for starters, so cool. Um, and then secondly, there is a huge aspect of seaweeds which is going, has the potential to support our communities in growing sustainable food, but then also continuing to work on the water. And that is really neat. I grew up only just a few minutes from where we are here and uh, grew up lobster fishing right out here in this bay. And uh, it's actually ultimately where I decided to put the farm was knowing that there wasn't a lot of uh, lobster fishing going on in the location that we chose. So we knew we wouldn't be interfering with anybody there. I think uh, seaweed farming ties in well. I mean, it's uh, it helps to know um, the ocean and in, in the surrounding areas around here. Um, it also just helps to be experienced on the water. You never know what you're going to run into. So to be able to solve a problem on the fly really comes with the experience of working on the water and, and seeing those things happen from, from growing up in it. Um, but it also just ties in well, I think, with um, the future of anything being uncertain. Uh, you never know if uh, a fishing industry is going to be what it is now in 10 or 15 years. You don't know if it's going to be better or worse. So it's a good idea to kind of, you know, spread out um, where you're putting your eggs, what basket you're putting them in. So we always say you don't have to be a kelp farmer to grow kelp. There's lots of different ways that you can grow the kelp industry in the country. So what could you do? Well, we need a lot of different people to help grow the kelp industry. We need people who grow kelp, sure. We work with fishermen for that because they know the water better than anyone. There are lots of other ways too. If you love visual arts and you love to make beautiful videos and photos and you're really creative, you could be in marketing in kelp so that we can start getting people excited about the food that they can eat. You could, if you love selling things, you could be in sales, you could be selling kelp. Then you could be a scientist that's out there researching the ways that you can make new seaweed 
um, strains for the lines to be able to get maximum volume or max or best taste or grow new types of seaweeds that we haven't even imagined growing yet that are here and native to the Gulf of Maine. You could be a mooring, as someone who lays moorings, because every seaweed farm needs moorings. And it goes on and on and on. An engineer, a scientist, a writer, someone in food production, someone in food safety, a manufacturing professional, someone who fixes broilers, someone who does electricity. We need all of those people to grow the seaweed industry in Maine. So one out of every 100 people in the world that are leading seafood companies in general are women. You know, I just want to highlight what that means for someone like me, who's a female CEO in seaweed. And that means if you're a girl out there and you're watching this video, I'm here to tell you nothing should hold you back from growing a new industry, from being in whatever position you want, whether that means farming kelp, being an engineer, being a scientist, or being the CEO, you can do it all. My message would be that there are so many different aspects of seaweeds, you know, whether you are into biology or you are into uh, marketing seaweeds on Instagram or you are interested in the engineering of seaweed farms. Um, there's so many aspects that seaweed touches. And so I would encourage um, you to dive into where your interests are and think about how seaweed plays into that. I would say that if you're interested in living in Maine and working in Maine's waterfront to definitely explore the opportunities within aquaculture. Um, there's so many careers now that are being built and there's many, many, many more to come. I would say just learn more about seaweed in general. Just keep your mind on seaweed. There's so many uses for seaweed. We've been using it for so long. And while this kind of seems like a new thing to us, you know, as we're talking about growing seaweed and using seaweed, it's, it's been around for so long. And I would encourage you to just keep learning about seaweed and, and see where it takes you, because you never know. Mm -hmm.